I want to thank the team at NASA for once again showing that that's who we are. That's who we are as a nation, a nation of possibilities. And now let's take a look at the very first image from this miraculous telescope. NASA Administrator Nelson, I'm going to turn this over to you. So will you please tell us about what we're seeing? Mr. President, if you held a grain of sand on the tip of your finger at arm's length, that is the part of the universe that you're seeing, just one little speck of the universe. And what you're seeing there are galaxies, uh, you're seeing galaxies that are shining around other galaxies whose light has been bent. And you're seeing just a small little portion of the universe. You know, 100 years ago, Mr. President, Madam Vice President, 100 years ago, we thought there was only one galaxy. Now, the number is unlimited. And in our galaxy, we have billions of stars or suns. And there are billions of galaxies with billions of stars and suns. And we're getting our first glimpse. As you said, Mr. President, we're looking back more than 13 billion years. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. And that light that you are seeing on one of those little specks has been traveling for over 13 billion years. And by the way, we're going back further because this is just the first image. They're going back about 13 and a half billion years. And since we know the universe is 13.8 billion years old, we're going back almost to the beginning. That is the discovery that we are making with this. There's another thing that you're going to find with this telescope. It is going to be so precise, you're going to see whether or not planets, because of the chemical composition that we can determine with this telescope of their atmosphere, if those planets are habitable. And when you look at something as big as this is, we are going to be able to answer questions that we don't even know what the questions are yet. This is what's happening. And it's because of this wonderful team that's out here. Uh, part of that team led by Thomas Zerbokin, it was in trouble financially five years ago. He took it over. He got. Greg Robinson that you're going to meet to direct it, and the result is what you've seen. So what an incredible team, joined, by the way, with our international partners, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. So this is an international endeavor. 